Hello, hello. What is it going? Yeah, this is gonna be another short stream. I woke up pretty late. So I, I'll just stream for around an hour and a half or something before I'm gonna go to work. Right, um. Supposed to go this way, I think. I am currently at the something apostles. Oh wait, no, I'm in platina already. Okay. I have arrived. <clears throat> I'm finally back in platina. <clears throat> so this is platina. The place that the church refers to as the Holy Land. The city is so quiet. Lina? Don't you think that's strange? The city is frozen? I knew something was strange. Let's go check out the cathedral. <coughs> wow. Let's go check out the cathedral. We should be able to find something there. Huh? The cathedral? I don't really want to go there. You haven't met up with Liat yet? Well, no, not really. I don't believe it. Men are so childish. <coughs> Listen, that's where Pl Platina is governed. So we have to go there, right? The cathedral. Hmm. I guess I have no choice. Latina. The most so many weapons and armor, but so few women's clothing. I need this. Wait, no, this is weaker. What the hell? this GDH thing who's wearing the other one no one bro So I just need one more GDH and then one light Naya. Glad me so.
Oh wait, yeah, shit, I don't have enough money. Um, I'm gonna need to do some farming. No recipe cuts. Useless. Um. Yeah, I need to do this as fast as I can. I'm on a timer here. Yeah, but you can fall asleep here. You know how this is. How, you know how this inn feels luxurious. That's why it makes me want to stay here. Oh, craft nut. Okay, those are good. Level 3. Uh, I'll save. <clears throat> the, verses has, the verses have entered the second discrete symphonic power. We have no choice. Cut all symphonic power to the second discrete at once. Yes, sir. Platinum's been destroyed. Have we heard anything from Lady Churelia or Ayatane yet? No, sir. It's been a few days since they left for the Altar of Apostles. This is not good. I hope Lady Churelia is safe. I'm sure she's fine, sir. Ayatane is with her. What makes you think Ayatane can keep her safe? Ayatane has special powers. When the verses first emerge at the Altar of Apostles, after being trapped, they return unharmed. That was too close. That's sorry. Lady Churelia, Lina, I'm sorry. How dare such weak verses try to hurt me? We shall be alright for a little while. I have my own way of dealing with them. So she should be okay as long as Ayatani is with her. Hmm. I hope you're right. Sir, a guardian has entered the second district. What? This may be our last time. Second district. Liner, is that you? Hi, Dad. Hmm, you're too late to do anything. What did you just say? I've been risking my life looking for the hymn crystal that will save everyone's life. And when I finally get back, you treat me like this? You didn't even thank me. You brought the hymn crystal? Wasn't that what you were supposed to do? I simply... I'm simply evaluating how long it took you to complete your mission. In that regard, your performance barely grades at all. I can't figure out why she asked you to go in the first place. Damn it! Liner, lock it off. We don't have time for this. Liat, you talk too much. You, you're Misha. All right, you're Misha, aren't you? What happened to your body? I can't see Chronicle Key anymore. But I'll have to tell you about it later. Right now, we have to find a way to defeat these viruses. He nearly died a few times looking for that crystal, but he finally found it. He dedicated his life to his mission. You have to take that into account as well. Misha, the reason he was barely able to accomplish his mission was because he is incompetent. 
no matter how many times he faced death, it doesn't change the final outcome. I know that I am merely an outsider, but there is something you must know, sir. I read off by Lion's side. I must say that he really did impress me. I have never seen anyone put a mission before him or herself as I witnessed from Lina. Mr. Redolf, right? You're from the lower world. You're unqualified to evaluate a knight of Alemia's performance. I've already been over this, but I'll repeat it again. Devoting your life to your mission is to be expected. Though I do recognize that he was in fact able to accomplish his mission at long last. Redolf, it's alright. That, what do you want me to do with the crystal? The crystal is only effective if it's if it is united with a graver tail. The Lichuralia was supposed to take up that duty. But she is currently at the altar of apostles with Ayatane. We haven't heard from them for some time now. What? In our current situation we are preparing for the worst case scenario. Liner, give the crystal to the graver tail that you trust the most. Downloading the crystal into, uh, into the river tail will release the true power of the crystal. How do we download the crystal? You don't know how? I don't have, I don't have enough time to explain. You should ask Horai, the owner of the Platinus dive shop. He's an expert on river tails and crystals. I still have much to do. I'll come back here after you've downloaded the crystal. Download the crystal. Download. Okay. I'm surprised your father holds such a high position in Platina. My dad is the administrator of Platina. We're complete opposites. He doesn't like the fact that I chose to be a knight. He has no right to speak to you like that. Oh, don't worry. I'm used to that. <coughs> he could go on for days if he really wanted to. Um, Lainan? I thought that. You were kind to everyone, but you're not kind to your father. <laughs> what? I wasn't afraid of you or anything. I just never saw you act like that before. It was a bit surprising. Eh. I mean, everyone have have their own problems. Right. Are you Lina? Commander Liat told me you were coming. You want to download a hymn crystal, right? This is gonna be great. Uh, download? Yeah, that's what we call it when a rebel tail unites with a crystal. So, do you want to download the hymn? Who do you want to download the hymn crystal to? Misha, of course. Yeah? Hymn code? What is that? Huh. You really don't know anything, just as the commander said. Just been talking about me behind my back again. The hymn code is kind of like a password for River Tales. According to the legends, it's their secret true name. But it doesn't look like you know the hymn code. You should dive and ask the guardian of her cosmosphere about it. If a girl has opened her mind to you, you can get her hymn code. No oh, wait, shit. I need to die first. <laughs> Hama! Hama! <coughs> Don't scream. I'm not deaf. Hey Hama, do you know the... About Misha's him code? Of course I do. Really? You can tell me about it? Okay, I'll tell you. But you can't tell anyone else. It's a secret. I'm trusting you. Of course. Misha's him code is Misha Fehu Iolia Artanalik. Don't tell it to anyone. 
thanks. I owe you one. I'm finally at level 5. Some wild stuff happened on the previous level, so I was expecting a mess, but this doesn't look too bad. Lina? What are you doing here? Misha? What are you doing here? And why are you dressed like that? Huh? This is how all students are supposed to dress. Hmm. I just didn't expect to see you here. That's because I don't want to go home. I see. She's often like that. All the thorns are gone. Huh? What's that building in the middle? It looks like a mirage. But everything else looks normal. This world is the most realistic so far. Oof, 300. Hey you, why are you here today? Why? Well... You're not really the reason I came here. Oh, I'm sorry then. <laughs> anyway, you're always around whenever I come here. But... Do you get enough sleep? Don't overwork yourself. I'm not overworking, and we mind guardians don't need sleep. I see. That's horrible. <laughs> why? Because sleeping is one of life's most enjoyable things. If you don't do that, it's like wasting away a third of your life. Stop thinking on your own level. First of all, you can't do anything when you're sleeping, right? It's a waste of time. And you say weird things without even knowing it. Huh? Weird things? What do you mean? Misha says a lot. Almost every day. <laughs> you mean like talking in her sleep? But those last words kind of caught me at, kind of caught my attention. You don't remember those, right? I can't stand to go through such embarrassment. I see. But if I said that in my sleep, I would be a little embarrassed too. If those were your words, it's super embarrassing. Hmm. Right. Let's go straight to Misha's house. Are you sure you want to come in? Don't you want me to? No, it's not that. I'm just a little embarrassed. It's kind of extreme, but don't worry about it. Extreme? <laughs> I need more sake. Bring me more sake. What? Father, stop it. This is normal for us. Father, we can't afford to buy you any more. What did you say? Can't afford more? Then sell your clothes and make some money. Thanks. Dad, stop it. What are you doing? Dad, who are you? I don't know you. Father, please. Misha, you're home. Where have you been? I need sake. Bring me some more sake. We don't have any sake. Are you drunk again? How dare you speak to your father like that? You always have your way and say whatever you want. Why don't you ever consider other feelings, other people's feelings as well? You're just a kid. You need to learn to obey your parents. And no. Uh, you? You attack your own father with magic? That's it. You're out of here. And don't come back till you bring me more sake. Okay. Wow, Liat. Liat X. Totally different over here. I've had enough. I don't want to ever come back home. You can't do that. We're a family. A father will worry about you if you don't come if you don't come home. Let's get some sake and come home. I'm afraid we might be able to find imported sake at the pier warehouse. Let's go check it out. But it says it's always too nice to father. Lana, I'm sorry that you have to see this. I'm so embarrassed. Now don't worry about that. Oh, is he your is he your friend? Good evening, I'm Misha's big sister. Hi. Is he your boyfriend? No, he's not. I see. Then will you go out with me? 
What? No, you can't do that. But it says you can't ask him that. What's wrong with you? I don't even know why I ask. Hmm. I think this happened before. Gale shot. Oh, okay. Do you enter this house without sake? Uh, again, sake. Hey, Chana Misha. Good evening. What's up? I heard that you have imported sake here. Yes, we do. Only ten thousand leaf right now. Ten thousand, but I don't have that kind of money. I guess you wouldn't. Then why don't uh, we have a drinking competition? If you win, I'll give you a bottle for free. I can't drink sake. It doesn't have to be you. It could be the young man or the lady, the, or the lady next to you. Or you can bring a friend. I can't drink sake. What about you, Liner? I don't drink at all. Then I guess we don't have the we don't have a contestant. Wow. It's hard. What is it? Why is it so hard to speak when you just woke up? Uh. Don't we know anyone who can drink a lot? I don't know anyone. Okay, why don't we look around and find someone who can? Why not just bring the father here and ask him to drink to enter the competition because he likes drinking so much. Hama can drink a lot. I don't even drink anything. <laughs> hmm, what's wrong with this world? I don't. I didn't know Misha had a dysfunctional family. You think this is about Misha's family? It's not that simple. It's called rewriting. Rewriting. You rewrite past experiences into something more obvious. So he might appear to be a drunk here, but the real world problem is something else. I see. So maybe something happened between my father and Misha. Good guess. Uh, we have to find someone who can out drink the Misha at the pier. Hey, what a coincidence. I didn't expect to see you here. It's bored. What should we do? Oh, wait. Hey, do you drink a lot? Of course. Nobody's ever out drink me before. Then I'll let you drink a lot of sake. Come with me. Huh? Welcome back. Is he your contestant? He looks like he can drink a lot. Oh, it's you. You can't beat me. You think so? Then I won't go easy on you. Oh, I'm so scared. I can't drink anymore. Oh, that's it. I thought you could do better. It didn't work. Well, time to find another candidate. Liner, Misha, are you two out on a date? No, no, we're looking for someone. Say, Jack, you like to drink, right? Of course, I like to drink more than just my three meals a day. I let you drink a lot, so come with me. Oh, welcome back. You see your contestant? He sure looks like he can drink a lot. I love to drink. I also love beautiful ladies like yourself. Thanks for the compliment, but I won't go easy on you. Well, let's enjoy this evening to the fullest. And he's out cold. Yep, he fell asleep. He had quite a lot, but he still couldn't beat me. It didn't work. Um. So who's gonna be next? Radoff? Crochet? <coughs> Radoff, okay. Oh, it's you, Liner. Right now, good timing. Can you drink a lot of sake? Sake? Sure I can. I can't drink anyone. A cardinal shouldn't say that, but I guess it's okay since we're inside Misha's mind. Then why don't you come with me? You can drink sake for free. Welcome back. Who's this? This is our contestants for the drinking match. Nice to meet you, but I won't go easy on you. Alright, let's begin.
Bro, I can't drink anymore. You gave up already? I thought you could do better. It didn't work. What now? We need to come up with a better plan. Let's go to the Italian town to plan a new strategy. Let me check. Uh, if there is other places that require DP. I can think of anyone who can outdrink Misha at the pier. We lost every match. But we have to keep looking. You guys are in trouble. You, I remember you. Oh, I'm honored. Please call me Mecha Rabbit. By the way, you can't beat China Misha that easily. She's a high level Misha, so her feelings are very strong and determined. You can't be easily. Uh, she can't easily be. Def wow. Why is it so hard to talk? She can't be easily beaten once she's determined to win. So residents of this world... You have to find someone really special to beat her. And if you have any doubt in your contestant, you've already lost. Then we have no chance of winning? It's up to you. You're the amazing strater of this world. You have to find someone who can definitely beat Misha. If you can't find anyone, then you have to create someone. Know what I mean? Someone who can definitely beat her. Yes, it could be anything. You'll win if Misha at the pier loses a little confidence. You have to think carefully. You have to craft something that you know can beat China Misha. Oops, I've been here too long. Gotta go. Misha, how's it going? Mountain. Let's go to the mountains. Yo, Lennar, such a gloomy face as usual. Jack? Sharpen up. Misha's growing up, but what's the point if you're not? Oh, yeah. But this sure is a strange world. It reminds me of the time when Misha first came to Enfena. Her first time in Enfena? Yeah, back then Misha was still small and she became homesick pretty often. And so that she won't be so lonely, I became like her big brother and always stayed by her side. But even when Misha became homesick, she always said she never wanted to go back to Platina. She said she didn't want to because there was a demon there. By demon, you mean... Yep, Commander Liat. Huh. Well, I knew it seemed deep, but I never thought it would be this far down in level. It must have been pretty bad. Sheesh. That must have been pretty straight on Misha. Demon. I wonder what... What he did. It's awfully cold around here. Can we really find someone here who can outdrink Misha? I need to think... I need to find something that will make the other me think that she's gonna lose. Misha, are you ready? Don't bother me, I'm thinking. Yeah, Alright. Liner, thank you for waiting. I found the greatest drinker ever. Hurry up, I'm freezing. I should be able to find a raccoon that can absorb anything around here. A raccoon can drink a lot of sake and temporarily expand. Once the sake is absorbed, it will return to its normal size. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let's hear her out. An enzyme inside raccoons help them absorb sake quickly and their bodies uh, expand to ferment. Once they break down the alcohol, their bodies quickly shrink back to their normal size and the alcohol residue is very nutritious for raccoons. Who's making all that racket? I can't sleep. Is it really? Oh, you were talking about me. I did. Wait, is Tanuki and Raccoon the same thing? Hmm. I want you to drink a lot of sake for me. Sake, alright. Where is it? Come with us. Welcome back. Oh, what a cute Raccoon. Why is he here? Let me drink sake. What? He's going to drink? Will he be okay? Of course, he drinks sake for his... Three meals a day. Okay then, let's have a drinking match. 
It's yummy. I love this sake. You sure can drink a lot. This is gonna be interesting. Good sake. It's a great day for me. Why is his body getting big? What's going on? Oh well, who cares? Let's keep drinking. I haven't drunk this much sake in a long time. I'm so happy. Wait, why is he getting big? I think I'm ready. What? I'm hungry. Will you? Oh, so it just resets. I'm hungry. Will you let me drink some more? What's going on? He has an enzyme that absorbs alcohol. It's getting... It's getting big because of the fermentation. Once all of the alcohol is absorbed, he, uh, he shrinks... He shrinks back to normal size. Once he absorbs the alcohol, he's hungry and ready to drink a lot more. So he's pretty much a bottomless drinker. Then I can never beat him. Oh no, I think I'm getting drunk. I guess he won. You can take the sake. Great, we got sake. Alright, we did it. I'm impressed. How did you find the way to beat her? I know myself better than anyone. I'm not good with logic. <laughs> I carefully planned out the whole thing. Uh, there was a lot of logic that I didn't mention. I'll tell you about it some other time. We'll probably take the whole day to explain it all. No, you don't have to do that. Can I take one too? Of course. We couldn't win without you. Great. You're so nice. I want to work for you. Call me whenever you need me. Okay, what song is this? The red magic, probably? Or is it a blue magic? We have sake, so we are good to go home. Yes, father must be worried about us. I don't think he's worried at all. What do you think about your father? He's so selfish and he judges people based on his absurd standards. I don't consider him to be my father. Just right about that. What happened between them in the real world? Vacuum Raccoon, it's, oh, it's a blue magic, so it's, um, it's a defensive thing, or a healing thing, or a cleanse, I don't know. Let's see, song magic. Absorbing balloon, lessen damage taken from the enemy. Ah, increase defense. Or absorb the fence. Father, we're home. Oh. We brought Saki back for you. What took you so long? Where have you been? What's wrong with you? We worked hard to make you happy. Misha, calm down. I won't let him get away with this. Not today. Stop it, both of you. No, big sis. I won't deny my feelings any longer. I'm gonna tell him how it is. How dare you talk to me like that? You can't hold me up to your ridiculous standards. My singing skills are better than you thought. Singing skills? You locked me up in a dark room. You told me it was perfect for training for crafting songs under extreme situations. Mm. So he's the one who did that. I did that for you because I care about you. You care about me? If you really cared about me, you would have bought that kid's meal when I was little. You told me to grow up already. You never even let me play. Because of you, I don't even have any good childhood memories. Give me back my childhood, you monster! Whoa, Misha! You dare shoot at your own teacher? Liner, it's too dangerous here. We have to leave now. But what about Misha? She'll be fine, but we have to go outside. Why does she hate him so much? She was taught by him since she was a little girl. From that guy? 
Yes, he's a brilliant but selfish man. Misha had unbelievable potential. He put her through extreme tests to train her to meet his standards. Misha patiently obeyed all of his orders. I guess she finally reached her boiling point. I never knew. This should get everything off her chest. Just wait until she's done. Okay. Once she gets everything out, it'll be easy to make up with her. If you say so. Stupid little girl. I'll let you go. This time. What a mess. You're so powerful. I thought you were still just a kid. <sighs> I'm so proud of you. Father, thank you. Okay, so we'll find the right magic. Huh. So what's Misha's relationship to my father? You don't remember? Well, it's really not surprising. With your bad memory, it's no wonder. Pardon? Commander Liar taught Misha how to craft song music. He taught her everything she needed to know to carry out her mission. Song... You mean song magic, not song music. He was tough on her, and she couldn't take it. That's why her feelings about him were buried so deep. Dad did that to her back then? But now that she let out her feelings, she should feel a lot better. Huh? <gasps> a paradigm shift. Look! Time to go. Yep, time to go. I saw a bunch of my most embarrassing moments this time. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. That's all in the past. Besides, you were kind of cute when you were angry. That better be because I look cute all the time. This is gonna be my fifth paradigm shift. The more times we do this, the more of my secrets you'll see. Next time, you may be disappointed and hate me. <laughs> Don't worry. I told you nothing here can change how I feel about you. So go right ahead. All right. See you there. Downloading. Welcome to the dive shop. Oh, Lena, it's you. Have you? Are you here to download uh, the Him Crystal into Rivertail? Yes. Oh shit. Um. Hmm. I would not know what Orica's um. I want to know what Orica's code is. Don Leon, where are you? Silencio, I am here. <laughs> Tell me about Orica's uh, him code. Do you know it, right? Why do you bring that up all of a sudden? Of course I know it. Please tell me. I am not supposed to tell it to a, uh, how do you say, outsider, but it is an emergency, so I will tell you. Really? Thanks. Okay, Himiko is Mule Tewas Artanelico. Mule Tewas Artanelico. Huh. I thought you deserve to know, since you have helped her out so much. What kind of world is this? I'm late. What, what is that? Oh. The schoolgirl? 
don't bump into me. Liner? Orca, your clothes are getting more and more extreme. I don't understand what you're talking about, but you better hurry. We'll be late. Wait, where are we going? To the school, of course. See you later. I can't be late. This is my third tardy in a row. This is some world, but at least it looks more fun than the other worlds. You never learn, do you? You need to consider the reason behind these worlds. You, you have stayed in Oruka's Cosmosphere for quite a while now. Eh? Is there something wrong uh, that happens if I stay for too long? Will Oruka become tired or... No. That don't scare me like that. But you sure dive into Oruka's mind a lot. Why do you do it so much? Huh? Um, I am asking you, why do you dive into her so often? That's because I decided I will protect Oruka. So I will become stronger and I'll support Oruka so that she can craft stronger songs. Hmm. Don't expect Oruka to like you just for that. It's not that like I'm doing it to make her like me. Whatever, at least try your best. They look like I kept driving a vacuum cleaner. How strange. Wait. Oh, okay. Campus. Orca, are you, are you tardy again? This makes three days in a row. But I can't explain. I bumped into this stupid guy on my way to school and then I fell. I'm a stupid guy. Oh, it was this guy. Stop making excuses. And you're late too, Liner. You two are always late. I'm late? Hey, who are you anyway? How could you forget? I'm Misha, the student body president. <clears throat> Liner, are you alright? Did you hit your head when we bumped into each other? No, I didn't hit my head. I won't leave. Hmm? I won't let you slide uh, next time. Orca, you're failing anyway. I know. The test results are displayed on the wall. Uh, we're being assessed to different classrooms based on our performance per grade. Be sure to check it out. Alright. Come on, Liner. Let's go check it out. Go check it out. I don't think I did very well on the last test. I'll probably be assigned to the D class. Again with this D class thing. Yes, there are five classes, S, A, B, C, and D. S is the highest and D is the lowest. I'm always in the D class. You don't know that yet. You can't give up. I'll go look. D class, class D, can it be? But... How was it? Do I even have to ask? How dare you say that, but you're right. <laughs> Good morning, Erika. Look. Yeah, this is weird because she never met Shirelia yet. Huh. Good morning, Ray. Orca, how was your test? Did you advance to the C class? Are you being sarcastic? I didn't make it. I'm still stuck in D. Did you make S again? No matter what I do, I always get in S. I don't know what to do. I know she doesn't mean to, but she really gets on my nerves. Orca, it's not too late. Why don't you study with me? No matter how much I study, I never get any smarter. I give up. It's too early to give up. Why don't you at least try it? Who are you? Have we, have I met you before? Are you Orca's boyfriend? I would never date him. Then he is it? Will you go out with me? I can. Huh. No, why are you asking him all of a sudden? I don't even know. Well, by the way, I got some wonderful information about studying. There are some magic books in the old building to the east. Uh, one of the books talk about how to bring out your full potential. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Really? Can you tell me some more? I want to know all about it. Orca? Well, it will make me smarter, right? I should go check it out. 
Everyone's supposed to have hidden talents inside them. All you need to do is figure out how to unleash it. And this book tells you exactly how to do just that. Great. Come on, Lennon, let's go. Seriously? It sounds interesting. Leave me alone. Don Leon. <laughs> hey, Lina. Crochet. I didn't expect you to be here. I'm kind of confused right now, Lina. Can you help me? Uh, yeah, I don't mind. Let's see. Forty nine docker sites, uh, five hundred and one kitty candies, twenty mega milks, twenty eight bottles of Kalimantan juice, seventy two Mondaka Badu, and it's strangely different. But I guess this is Orca's image of Crochet. I guess I can't really help if these are Orca's memories. I forgot, but there are a lot more. What should I do to be able to eat all of that? Huh? I I have no idea. I need to figure out a way to eat it, or else Misha is going to add 10 bibim per bulls. If she adds that, I'm gonna die. Even if she adds those, just don't eat it then. But Misha is scary. I see. To Orca, I guess Misha is a scary existence. Her skills and her actions. Well, just think of that on your own. Later. Hey, wait, Liner. Mini. Huh. Why would Misha be scary, dude? <clears throat> She's just way out, way more outspoken compared to Orca, but she's not scary. This is the building where book is supposed to be. It looks haunted. I told you. Let's go back. No, finding the book and getting smart is the only way for me to survive. Let's go. Ah oh man, I have to follow her. Doesn't this look like a library? Let's look around. I doubt such a book really exists. Of course it does. Look, I found it. Bringing out your true potential. The three minute training. It looks suspicious. Let's take a look together. It's too difficult for me to read alone. Alright, let me see. Let's see, you aren't even aware of your true potential. By utilizing your hidden talents, you can increase your power tenfold. Once you develop these talents, you'll get perfect scores on tests, be good at sports, and you won't be tardy three days in a row. That's awfully specific. I know why it's specific, but let me go on. To develop your true po Wait, wait, what the hell is this? Ah, oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, fuck.
Damn it. I guess I'll repair that some other time. To develop your true potential, you need to uh, to be energized directly by the tower in the center of the world. The central tower works like a pipeline that supplies energy directly to your true potential. But that energy is being locked is being blocked by several factors. So all you have to do is to get the energy directly from the tower. It's a form of cheating, but it works. This is some book. So we need to go to the tower. Uh, that's what it says. Do you want to go now? Will you come with me? Yes, of course. I can't let you go alone. You never know what will happen there. Thank you. You're so kind. If you, keep, if you could read me books all the time, I'm sure I can learn anything. Really? Usually people learn more by reading on their own. That's not what I meant. I just want to study with you. I don't mean to interrupt, but can I talk to you for a second? <coughs> Who is it? It's coming from the corridor. <coughs> corridor. I don't mean to surprise you. My name is... Question mark? Nice to meet you. Do you own this building? No, I'm just her guide. My guide? Yes, I'm here for... A I'm here with an important message. It's not a good idea to get energy directly from the tower. I have a better suggestion. You should get rid of the cat in front. Cat? There's a cat in front of the tower? Yes, it's a strange cat that steals your magic. That's why you don't do well in school, but... You can craft strong magic. What? How did that happen? <coughs> you did it. You set a limit on yourself. But I've said too much. I should get going. A cat? I set a limit. We should go to the tower. The vacuum cat? He bothers me. Hey, have you seen a strange man who wears gown with his eyes on it? Who wears a gown? Huh? Wait. With eyes on it. I dare you to make less sense. The only thing I know is that Oracle crafted him. You will find out why soon enough. The vacuum cat. I found it. This is the cat. So this cat steals power cells from the tower? But did I create this? I don't remember doing that. This must be one of those subconscious things I was told about. How can we beat it? I don't know. He didn't really tell us. What? I thought you already knew. How was I supposed to know? <sighs> you two make a terrible couple. Huh? Misha, the student body president? I knew it. You created this stupid looking cat. You better get rid of it before it causes any trouble. What? The real Misha doesn't talk like this. Why do you always have to run your mouth? You're right. She does run her mouth. Oh, is it? Uh, Who are you? Okay. <coughs> what? Why are you dressed like that? You have the worst taste in clothes. I can't let you walk around like that. How dare you speak to me like that? Orica, let me show you something interesting. This cat has been stealing power, right? What happens if we point this cat at that snobby little girl? No! Stop! The cat! It's sucking something out of me! See? This cat is useful after all. Isn't it great? The cat is sucking up Misha's power instead of yours. No! Stop it! I don't want to gain power through such horrible means! Are you sure? I know you're the same as me, but you're getting on my nerves. Deep down, you want to do this. That's the whole reason why the cat can do this to her. That's a lie! This is your soul space. Everything in here was created for a reason. You want all of this to happen. No, I don't! Let Misha go! If you really wanted me to let her go, you would have made it happen by now. She bothers you a lot in the real world, doesn't she? I don't blame you. 
She's always with the liner. She attracts everyone's attention with her good ideas and experience. Let's face it, she's a natural-born heroine. Our total opposite. No! She's way better than we could ever hope to be. We only get to see her from the back. All we can do is hope that she will fail. No! Stop saying all this in front of Liner! Oh, you're trying to hide our true self from Liner? Why bother? Sooner or later, you won't be able to hide anything from him. No! Liner, don't listen to her! Don't listen to me! Don't even look at me! Liner has every right to hate us. It's kind of interesting that he hasn't left us already. I'll never hate you, Orca. In fact, I'm glad I'm hearing your true feelings. Stop lying. I was always worried about how quiet you were. You never showed any emotion. But now that I know how you feel, I feel like we're getting closer. But I have so many ugly feelings inside. How can you still... It's not a big deal. We all do sometimes. We just don't usually say them out loud. I like seeing your emotional side. Thank you. I'm glad you feel that way. There. I've taken enough energy. Here, why don't you take it? I don't want it. Are you sure? I don't need you to give me more power. I can get stronger on my own. That's... Oh, the time rabbit. Oh! <laughs> Hi. It's nice to see you again. I've seen you before. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> but this time... I'm playing a different role. <laughs> I'm working for Aurica. <laughs> My job is to be innovative. <laughs> to create things beyond the normal scope. <laughs> you know, Aurica really wants to make some drastic changes. <laughs> and I can multiply her power from within. Really? I created you? That's right. But be careful. I'm very delicate. Once you start to feel uncertain, I disappear. I can only show up when you're confident about your power, so keep that in mind. Okay. I didn't expect you to make something like that. You might be me from a higher level, but we do think differently. Now I want you to leave. You changed your attitude just because you made one little thing? You may not understand it yet, but you're wrong about us thinking differently. You'll see. Soon enough. But I'll leave you with this cat for now. You can do whatever you want with it. No! Losing... power... Misha! What should I do? We have to get the cat to give her back her power. Full power! I'm done! Oh no! The cat! We have to catch it! Misha, I'm sorry. This is all my fault. I'll get your power back. Just hold on! Hmm. Wait. Booster. Agility increase. Oh, wow, nine hundred. So the culprit who was taking all of the magic powers was shaped like a cat. How ironic. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, it's not that important since Orca is a big cat lover. I thought it was weird. The entity that was stealing her own powers is in the shape of a cat. So maybe she had a bad experience with one. Did Orca like cats that much? Not that you mentioned it, she was playing with a cat at the end. It's not on the level of just plain light. Orca was a cat fanatic. She can't even speak the cat language. Cat language? Well, I don't know if they really understand her, but when she's talking to cats, Orca seems so happy. She sits in front of the cat and begins meowing to begin her conversation. I see. But that seems like something a normal person who likes cats would do. You think so? But no, Orca's feline no felinophilia comes to its full strength when no one is watching. Full strength? What in the world does she do? <clears throat> well, let's see. She roll around with the cat and ball up together and fall asleep. And be like and be like that normally while she's with the cat. Oh, really? I can't really imagine from the usual quiet orca. 
Well, she probably won't be doing it in front of other people. Too bad you'll never be able to... <laughs> Too bad you'll never get to see it. Nine hundred, though. Oh yeah, yeah. The higher the cost, a cat in my room. means I it has that draining the more embarrassing the thing is to the person. You found it. Let's work together to catch it. Let's go, rabbit. You're doing great. Let's take it down. You think you can take me on? This is Wish's voice. Huh. Oh, no. Orca, don't listen to it. You found out the true identity of this cat. Unused power. Due to your lack of confidence created it. This cat sucks up the power you deny yourself. So stop denying your abilities. I... I'll be okay. I won't deny myself anymore. Now you can't suck up my power ever again. I'm proud of you for saying that. take some time for her to get used to it. Ray! There's no need to hurry. I will wait for you to climb up. That sounds nice, but I always get the feeling that you're looking down on me. That simply isn't true. You're just imagining it. Magic Q? <laughs> it's a paradigm shift. This time... You have made an extreme change to Orica's mind, I must say. Oh, did I do something wrong? Oh, no, no! Everything is magnifico! Magic Q? Lesson damage. Oh. Shit. I need more money. I have less than a thousand. Thank you for helping me again. You always come through for me. Well, I really didn't do much to help you on this level. Do you really believe that? You encouraged me so that I could overcome my obstacles. But you did everything yourself. You need to remember what you did on your own. I guess you're right. I should get going. Stop is level 5. I wonder what it's like. Are you getting scared? Are you kidding? When you return, I expect you to do your best. You have been doing such high level dives, Liner. Have you installed? So you can craft stronger magic? No, I haven't installed yet. Not yet. Nope, installing is very painful, right? I feel sorry for Erka. What? You worried about me? I'm fine. Really? Wait, now I'm not so sure. Yeah, let me think for a moment. It's up to you two to decide. Why don't you go to an inn and talk it over? Let's see, equipment, orca... School days. High harmonics.
shit. I need to I need to log off. Wow. Do you have a minute? It's about an install. Will you install me? Aurka? I'm so much weaker than average Gravel Tails, but I don't want to cause you any more trouble. Okay. It's the least I can do. Besides, I'll try my best as long as I'm with you. What? You're the only person I feel comfortable enough to ask, so please? Alright, but are you sure about this? I don't want to force you. I don't mind. To be honest, I'm a little scared since I've heard that it hurts when you push it in. Ah, uh, of course. We're back to this. <coughs> but if I overcome my fear, I can get stronger. It makes me happy knowing I can help you. Please don't make it too painful. I'll do my best. Thanks, Diner. You're so kind. If you don't have a graph note crystal, use this. It's not as effective, but it doesn't hurt as much going in. 10% strong... 10% song increase. <coughs> my installer port is near the back of my neck. Okay. Straight. Back of her neck, huh? Uh. You see how there's a pattern drawn on my back? Find the circle in the middle of it. That's my installer port. What installing feels like That was difficult Are you alright? You should take it easy No, I'm okay I decided to do it I'll ask you to do it again in the future You can now install in Orca The install tutorial has been added You can view it at any time from the help menu Liner, can I come in? Liner, I finally made it You look so happy What did you make? It's a gift for you It was really difficult to make you're giving me a gift. Uh, that's nice. Once you see it, you'll be a hundred times happier than now. So, will you accept my masterpiece? The decorated hakama? Decorated hakama? It even has your family emblem. Wait a minute. How do you even... Hmm? How do you know my family emblem? I didn't even know about it. I saw it when I was little. Three layers of circles with a cross inside. Huh. My family emblem is corny. What do you expect? It's a family emblem. Isn't this great though? Yeah it is. It looks sturdy. So okay, I'm getting a new equipment then, a Hakama. I know. It was pretty hard to make it. Of course, making Hakamas can't be easy. That's why I had a hard time making it. Do you like it? Yeah, I really like it. Thanks. Well you're welcome. You should wear this during a battle. You'll do great. Alright. Uh did you say battle? Oh, I forgot to tell you this, but it's really sturdy. I made this for you to wear in battle. It's much sturdier than a regular armor. Why did you make it that sturdy? Because I wanted you to wear it all the time. It not only increases your defense, but you can cause all elemental damage. I thought, um, I thought about you a lot while making it, so your HP should go up drastically too. Thoughts are powerful. So, will you wear this? You're serious? Of course I'm serious. I made it for you to wear it. But it looks uncomfortable for fights. I know it looks uncomfortable, but trust me, it's not. This is just great. That's a great compliment, so will you wear it? Well, I'll stand up if I wear it. It will be fine. It's even steadier than armor. So, will you wear it? Will you wear it? Can I think about it a little longer? Oh wow, there's so much to talk about. <coughs> <coughs> I 
you like to read books and stuff, right? The general, the, the general store in Karudu village had a ton of them. Uh, wanna go back? Oh, that place. I look around there once. I've read most of them before. Really? One time, I just read like crazy. It was kind of fun. But I couldn't find much stuff to do. I couldn't find much stuff that I really wanted to read. I see. Liner, you should put down your sword sometimes and just read. Even if you're strong and handsome, it's a waste uh, if your brain is empty. Well, maybe when I have time. Oh, hey, last time we went, uh, didn't you buy a book? Hmm? I don't remember. Huh? No, you bought one. It had like a light pink cover or something. I was hoping you didn't notice. I'm sure everyone noticed. It's not that big of a store, you know. Okay, okay. So, I bought a book. <coughs> Is it the kind you don't want to show to other people? Lainan, what kind of book are you thinking about? Me? I thought you're the one who's... Hmm? You're the one who's embarrassed about it. So, I thought maybe, you know... Ah, it's been such a long time since I've been to Platina. What's wrong? I'm kind of disappointed because we're staying at an inn in Platina. I wanted to stay at your place. Huh? There's not enough room for everyone to stay at my home. But you could have taken only me. I think that would be a whole another problem. What are you thinking about, Robert? Oh yeah, there's something I have to tell you about uh, before I forget. Lana, isn't it... Liner, isn't it time to make up with Liat? Just do it. Are you forcing me to? If you don't do it soon, you never make up uh, with him. <coughs> you two are family, so you have to stop fighting sometime. How many more years will it take for you to get over it? It's easy for you to say. You two are starting to drive me crazy. What can I do? It's my dad's fault, so I can't really do anything about it. I don't agree with him, so he bosses me around. It's such a selfish parent. Ah, uh, this is going to take forever. But I can see how much you two are really alike. Alike? Yeah, you two are the only ones who don't see it. Latina has changed so much. It's so different from when I used to live there. Really? I don't think though I don't think much has changed since I was born. Lina, you're so forgetful that you can't remember the changes. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, do you remember anything about your past? Do you remember me? Uh, sorry. Ah, there was no department store there before. Do you remember that much? No, I'm pretty sure there was always there. What are you saying? There used to be... That used to be an empty lot. What? No way. Ah, forget it. Your novelty wore off and now I'm just tired. Hey, Liner. Uh, ship sweets are pajamas, right? Yeah, I think so. It has to be. I'm starting to wonder why I was able to fight normally and not even care much about it. But <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. You're little, so I don't think anyone minds. I'm sure you meant that in a good way, and it's you, so I'll let that one slide. But if you ever say that again, I would hesitate to sing at you, so be prepared. Gaia Bombard. Can you really call the Gaia Bombard a song? Huh? Do you have a problem with it? Not a prob not a problem, but there's so many things to say about it. Like, isn't it pretty much just throwing a huge hammer and crushing people? Isn't it more of a physical attack than a magic attack? The hammer and the person who throws it comes from magic, so what's the problem? Somehow my image of magic is falling apart. Still zero on level six. Okay. Yeah, I should. I should stop streaming. I need to go to work. This is what you get for waking up so late. I'm off. I'm off. Bye bye.